In the U.S. alone, we produce 103 million tons of wasted food annually, sending nearly 36 million tons of organics into landfills, not to mention 8 million tons of organics being incinerated into the atmosphere. And that's a big problem because methane gas, one of the greatest causes of climate change, is released into the atmosphere by decaying organic material. So why is it the European continent is the only place in the world that has reduced methane emissions? What do they do that we don't? Historically here in the United States, we were used to having lots of land and lots of water. Now, the country is becoming more crowded and our landfills are filling up. We have so much organic waste that goes into these landfills. Instead of going into the landfill and producing greenhouse gases through the degradation process of landfills, we can actually put it into a digester and we can capture all of the gases that are produced and we can enhance that process. And by capturing it and utilizing it for power source, we're actually decreasing the amount of greenhouse gases that are produced while decreasing the amounts of fossil fuels that we use in our industries. Now's the time for this technology here, especially around climate change, especially around keeping these, these materials again out of landfills and incinerators and helping air, water, and soil quality. That's really what it's all about. AD facilities utilize a natural microbial process to break down organic material with enlarged enclosed tanks. No burning, no landfilling, no incineration. AD is the first pragmatic, fiscally responsible way to solve the problem. Finally, ecology meets economy. Anaerobic digestion is a microbial process that takes place where there's a series of different bacteria that break down any sort of organic material. It can be crop waste, it can be food waste, it can be manure, it can be sewage sludge from our wastewater treatment plants. They break down that material and during the process of this metabolism, they produce methane. And that methane can be used for electricity, it can be used in cars, it can be used heating, it can be used in any way that you use natural gas actually. So natural gas is 99% methane. The biogas that we're creating is basically doing that instead of over millions of years, we're creating it in a matter of days. Anaerobic digestion allows you a lot of different options in terms of reductions of odors, reductions of greenhouse gases and producing fertilizer that can be fractionated. So as anaerobic digestion continues to grow, you're gonna see benefits not only in the environmental sector, but in the social sector as far as an increase in jobs and also in the economy because we're gonna be more successful in processing materials. It's a, it's a win across the board. Companies like Bioenergy Devco partner with companies and municipalities that have large sums of organic waste to design and build custom management solutions that prevent excess organics from going into antiquated and unsustainable waste streams, such as landfilling, land application, and incineration. Bioenergy Devco came in as a true partner in helping us deal with our organic waste. When we found out that not only were we able to bring our waste to the facility, but they were actually going to take that waste and turn it into reusable energy, and that the byproduct was gonna be a high grade agricultural supplement for the fields, it was a no brainer. They weren't just selling a product to us, they were coming in with a, with a true solution to our waste management problems. Anaerobic digestion offers an opportunity to municipalities. You know, for generations, we've been telling people you need to reduce, reuse, recycle. But anaerobic digestion is, is a whole new rethink. It's the fourth R that needs to take place in order for us to really start capitalizing on how we're going to be effective in the first three R's. Anaerobic digestion is a big idea and it's a very big project, but our goal is to recycle everything keep all of this organic material out of landfills and incinerators and keep it from being land applied. There's not many technologies you find that have air, water, and soil quality benefits all wrapped up in the one. And that's what we found here. And that's why it makes way too much sense. In the U.S. and throughout the world, municipalities, waste haulers, and businesses are rethinking waste management, instead looking for innovative ways that couple economic and environmental challenges. With companies like Bioenergy Devco and technology like anaerobic digestion, we know that organic refuse can have a productive and valuable second life. The answer to sustainability is here. There's no reason to not get on the bandwagon. Visit bioenergydevco.com to learn more.